Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make my newest pattern, the Estella dress. The Estella pattern is a tight fitted dress with a full skirt. The pattern comes with two different options. Today I will be making the option A. Option A is a strapless dress with a beautiful tie back closure. The Estella pattern can be bought following the link in the description. First, let me take you through the supplies you will need for this pattern. You will need lightweight main fabric, I'm using a cotton fabric, some lightweight lining fabric, some interfacing, an invisible zipper, and some boning, and the printed PDF pattern. Assemble the PDF pattern by cutting off the borders and taping the pattern pieces together by matching the black diamonds. Cut the request pieces out of both the main fabric the lining and the interfacing. Please note that the skirt pieces are cut directly from the fabric by using the cotton instructions in the booklet. This is done for saving paper and pattern assembling time. For the option A, you will need for the first tire one front piece and two back pieces. For the second tire, you will need three equal size pieces, and for the third, you will need four equal size pieces. Cut the pieces in the width and the length as shown on the cotton instruction following your size range. Before you start, apply interfacing on the wrong side of all the main fabric bodice pieces.
the center front seam, right sides together and press the seam allowance open. Repeat this for the lining pieces. Sew the bust seams right sides together and press the seam allowance open. Repeat again for the lining pieces. Sew the side seam on the bodice right sides together and press the seam allowance open and repeat for the lining. Sew the color band pieces right sides together at the end and all the way around the bottom edge and up until the margin at the top edge. Cut down the corners and cut notches along the curved part and cut a deep notch into the seam allowance at the top marking on the upper edge. Turn the color bands to the right side and press the color bands nicely flat. Split and turn the seam allowance at the open upper part.
place the color bands right sides together at the main fabric neckline, matching the markings. The color band should stop one seam from the back seam edge. And the color band should stop 1.2 cm from the center front seam at the color band marking. Sew so the small back pieces right side together with the lining at the top edge. Turn to the right side and press the seam allowance toward the lining. From the right side of the lining, understitch the lining to the seam allowance to hold it in place. Prepare the tie bands and the loops. Fold the tie band right sides together and sew along one end and the long side. Cut the seam allowance down to 0.5 cm and turn to the right side and press. Repeat this step for the loop piece, but only sew along the long side. a loop turner to turn the straps and the loop to the right side. Cut the loops by cutting the sewn piece into four equal size pieces. Each piece should be 5 cm long. Sew the small back piece right side together at the back seam at the marking. Base the open end of the straps at the main fabric top marking. Fold each loop in the middle and base the loops at the back piece onto the main fabric in the marked placements. Sew the main fabric white sides together with the lining at the neckline. The color band and the straps should lay flat between the layers. Cut notches in the seam allowance along the curved part of the neckline. Turn to the right side and press the seam allowance toward the lining. From the right side of the lining, understitch the lining to the seam allowance to hold it in place.
press the neckline nicely. Turn the lining down again and sew the main fabric white size together with the lining at the back seam. The strap, the loops and the small back piece should lay flat between the layers. Cut down the top corner and turn to the right side and press the seam nicely. Make sure that the straps and the loop sits nicely. Along the back seam, top stitch one seam from the edge to create a boning channel. The collar band should be turned up. Cut the boning 1.25 cm shorter than the channel and insert it through the open waist. Onto the skirt. Mark the zipper marking at the center back seam 18 cm from the top edge. Search or zigzag the center back seam separately. Sew the center back seam right sides together up until the zipper marking. Press the seam allowance open. Sew the side seams right sides together on the first waffle skirt piece. Search or zigzag the seam allowance and press the seam allowance towards the back piece. Sew all the short size of the second ruffle pieces right size together, making sure not to twist the pieces. Search or zigzag the seam allowance and press it to one side. Repeat this step for the third ruffle pieces as well. Let's gather all the ruffle pieces together. Begin with the third ruffle, gather along the long side so it fits to the second ruffle. Then sew them right sides together, search or zigzag the seam allowance and press it upwards. And repeat the steps for the first and the second ruffle pieces. When sewing the ruffle pieces together, the pieces can be divided into four equal parts, so it's easier to distribute the gatherings. Remove the visible gathering stitches.
Baste the main fabric and the lining wrong size together at the waistline. Search or zigzag the center back seam together. To secure the overlock thread, pull the loose thread end through the stitch. Gather the skirt pieces at the top edge so it fits to the waistline. Match up the side seams and the center back seam and sew all the layers with the main fabric right sides together. Search or zigzag the seam allowance and press it upwards for more puff look or downwards for a flatter look. Remember to remove the visible gathering stitches. Sew the zipper onto the center back seam down until the zipper marking by using an invisible zipper foot or a regular zipper foot. Start with the left side of the zipper. Open the zipper and place it so the right side of the zipper is facing the right side of the main fabric. Base it by hand or machine. With the zipper foot stitched down from the top to the bottom, rolling out the curled zipper tees and stitching as close to them as possible. Repeat this on the right side, making sure that the top and the bottom of the zipper is placed exactly opposite of each other. Mix the seam allowance and the zipper tape at the top zipper to the outer layer so it sits nicely flat. Cut off any visible part of the zipper tape. By 
highest tape can be added along the zipper tape for a nice and clean finish. For finishing off the loose zipper end, Cut the zipper down, cut into the zipper tape along the zipper teeth and fold it over the zipper. Sew it in place and cut off the excess zipper teeth. Search or zigzag the edge of the hem and fold it up by 2 cm towards the wrong side of the fabric and stitch it 1.5 cm from the edge. Press it nicely. the collar band into a nice knot and tie the back through the loops. Pre-tie the back before putting on the dress. The Stella dress is done, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow the link below and see the other option available in this pattern. Remember to share your make on social media with these hashtags. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below. See you in my next video.